Kim, we are delighted to say that you've signed a new contract. So what does this one mean to you? I'm obviously firstly delighted to sign a new contract with the club and just extend my, my stay here. Um, I've obviously been at the club, you know, quite a long time over two different spells and um, I'm still so motivated um, to move this club forward and to be a part of the success in, in what we're doing here. So, yeah, I'm excited to extend my contract and look forward to um, the future. And when you joined the club at just 17 years of age, be perfectly honest, was there ever a part of you that thought you'd still be here today? <laughs> um, I don't think it's something I would have thought about too much when I was 17 uh, when I first moved down here um, or even, even at that point to be playing professionally and for the game to be where it's at and for the club to be where it's at right now. Um, when I think back to, when was that, 2008 when I first signed, so many things were different, but just sitting thinking about that now, it, yeah, it makes me feel you know, incredibly proud to, to still be representing this club. Um, and I can't wait, yeah, for the, the, mo the future years here um, and what more we can do. You mentioned the word motivation right at the beginning there. Kim, what is it that's motivating you to sign again and, and to keep playing with this incredible group? I'm quite, intrinsically motivated I don't find um especially when I play football and when I represent this club you know I, it's just innate it's completely in me and um it doesn't take much to get me to get me going and I think what this club is it's history um just the feeling around it you know in North London um yeah it's just incredibly special um and I've th felt that for all the time I've been here and can't wait for the the future and yeah, excited to be in a place where I can continue to grow with this group of players as well. I think, you know, it, my motivations are mainly, you know, to be the best that I can be, um, you know, on the pitch as a player, but also off the pitch. And how can I also bring out the best in others? And that's a real motivator for me because basically you can do that every single day. Um, and that's what I try and do. So I'm, yeah, excited to continue to do that. And um, the club is just, it's in a, a really good place just now. There's been a lot of progress as the game's got more popular and more, more professional. And um, it's, yeah, it's a really exciting place to be. And when you think about all the contracts that you, you've signed throughout your professional career today, and maybe the point of life that you're at at that stage, what do you think this contract signifies? Yeah, it's, it's actually, it's really different. Obviously, when I think back to the different contracts I've signed um, at the club, obviously when I was 17, I came down on a, you know, it was, you wouldn't even call it a part-time con contract. It was, you know, we trained a couple of times a week, played on the weekend. Um, and then now when I think about my more recent ones after I've returned from America, I've signed, you know, two longer term ones and then another one now. And obviously the ones before I was in my late twenty, at mid to late twenties, which is kind of a very kind of the middle stage of your career. And, and now maybe so, you know, I'm a little bit older. Um, and there's definitely, you know, different elements you think about as I come to cut, you know, not the last stage of my career, but definitely um, the later stages. And um, for me, it's, you know, I've had the, you know, I'm still so grateful to still be a part of the game and to be playing and to have been a part of it through this incredible growth that, you know, the club has had, but also the game in this country um, and globally. Um, and yeah, it's just so enjoyable to be part of and to continue to see where it's going to go. So yeah, I can't wait to continue that journey. It's it's incredibly fun to be a part of. And when you look around at your teammates, so many that you've played with for years, so many that I imagine you're so proud of, the number of games we're playing at the Emirates right now, just the general growth, I mean, the fact we're here right now, how proud are you still to, to be captain of Arsenal and to be leading this team forward? Yeah, I, you know, I love it. And um, it's an incredible honour to be captain. And it's something that, you know, I take the huge responsibility um, and I try and do it and lead in the best way I can to, you know, to bring out the best of our team, which, um, yeah, that makes me incredibly proud. And I think whether my teammates um, and friends are playing for their national team or whether they're playing for this club, when I see them do well and as individuals and as a team, you know, it, literally there's nothing that makes me prouder. And um, that's also a huge motivator for me. And I can't wait to continue to grow in as a person, as my as an individual and, and hopefully use that to keep benefiting the team. Now, Kim, you had the, the privilege of growing up around some of the biggest names to ever play for the club, some of the biggest to ever play in the sport. But standing here today, I mean, you've made 290 appearances for the club. 
I know you might not like it. I'm going to read out a few names above you. Alex Scott, Rachel Yankee, Jane Ludlow, Kira Grant and Emma Byrne. The only players to have made more. What does that mean to you? Yeah, obviously, um, there, yeah, so there's five, so they're you know, all teammates of mine. When I first signed for the club, I presume, I'm trying to think, yeah, I'm trying to remember the names there, but yeah, it you know, absolute legends of the, the game in this club. And obviously the, the artwork at the Emirates, you know, um, illustrates that now. And I had the, the privilege to come here as a 17 year old and be around that team which were, you know, unbelievable at the time. They were so incredibly successful and won everything that there, were, there was to go. And then I came and was able to be a part of that group of players who played the game when it was obviously not fully professional. They weren't particularly rewarded, you know, extra, extrinsically or, you know, financially. And um, when I think back, you know, I sometimes tell stories of, you know, when we, when we, when I played with, with them and just so many fun memories as a young player um, in such a great team. You know, it definitely played a huge, huge part for me becoming who I am, both as a player and a person. I'd imagine there were so many things that they taught you when you were youngster that helped you grow into to becoming a more senior player. But now, do you think maybe of some, some characteristics that they had when you were a youngster that you maybe now have to, to apply with the youngsters in this team? Yeah, I, I, hope, I hope so. I hope that um, from all the players that I've played with and especially those legends that you mentioned that I take parts of of them because you know they're you know incredibly successful, resilient, um, so consistent in achieving success that I hope um, that I can still I, that's instilled in me and that I can now you know pass that on to the kind of next generation of of players and I think um, you know as a club we always want to be to be at the top and winning trophies and we've maybe not done that recently as much as you know we have in the past but I definitely feel that we've got this feeling within us that you know we're, we're progressing and getting to a place where we can compete um, more consistently maybe we have done in the, the f previous years and um, yeah I'm excited to be a part of that and keep keep motivating and keeping us at that level. As captain I imagine you've always had to, to kind of have high standards for things on the pitch but I know for your role and the way you've wanted to lead with this club, the work off the pitch has almost been just as important to, to kind of directly impact things on the pitch as well. How are you going to continue to do this going forward? Yeah, I think, um, as I briefly mentioned earlier, when I returned to the club in uh, 2017, I'd obviously gone and had the experience of playing in America and playing in um, Australia and with my previous experience here in um like I said, when you when you get when you have that more and more experience, you get a little bit older. Um, I think you observe and you see a lot more with a lot more perspective, and injuries can help with that. Which I picked up a couple of big injuries when I first returned to the club, and I think because I'm so passionate and I've been so ingrained in this club for a long time, I I am so motivated to make it better, both on the pitch and off the pitch. And I think myself and you know several other players. Um, over the past few years of, um, you know, put a lot into trying to, to express how we feel as players and what we feel we need to be um, the best we can be in, you know, at the highest performance consistently. And um, yeah, it's taken a lot of time and persistence, but I think we've had a lot of great conversations with the club and there's been a lot of progress, which I think you've definitely seen, especially over the last sort of two years, maybe. Um, where, you know, the, the strategies around what we're doing, whether it's on the pitch, commercially, facilities, performance-wise, you know, they're progressing really well and in a place where I'm not sure you'll get get anywhere much better in the women's game. And that's that excites me. And to see that progress, you know, for you to put in that time and effort, to see that progress, it makes you want to give more and more and more um, um, to, to keep moving it there. Now, there's an assumption kind of from fans, I think, sometimes that when you played hundreds of, of games in your career, you kind of run out of maybe things to learn and pick up from. But imagine in your mentality to keep going at this point, it, it's the total opposite of that. So, Kim, what is it you're you're still trying to learn? I think just that's maybe a bit of a life philosophy for me. I think you you can always learn. You know, as you meet new people, as you play with new players, you play against different teams, even as the game professionalises, it's very different. You're playing in front of more people, and um, there's so many elements 
to the game that are constantly changing. And but that's the same within a team, you know, it's constantly changing. There's different dynamics, there's different players um, at different stages of their career, there's injuries, there's different staff members coming in. So there's there's always something um, to be better at and to learn from. Um, and that's, yeah, I suppose that's just my outlook on life as well, whether it's out, out with an education and doing other things too. It's, you can constantly broaden your mind to, to become a better person and, and more aware um, of everything. So yeah, it's there's so much more for me to learn, for sure. And just finally, Kim, with all that you've probably experienced on the pitch, off the pitch, the, the people you've come to know, everything that's part of being at Arsenal, what does Arsenal mean to you? God, to put that, <laughs> that's a hard question to put into a short percent. What does it mean to me? I mean, yeah, Arsenal, yeah, has been a huge part of my life and continues to be. And um, yeah, Arsenal, I think, I suppose the, the most simple word that when I think about now with Arsenal, because I've been here over time, is just it feels like home. I think I was thinking about that on the drive in here to Emirates. I was like, you know, I'm from Scotland and Scotland's my home. That's where I was born and where I'm from. But because I've been here so long at this club now, you know, North London does feel like home. And yeah, it's continues to be a, you know, a privilege to represent this club and um, to continue my journey here.